Hey gang, I'm Eric Logan Summit. Logan Radio rocks on Twitch, YouTube, Fruit Lab, and every other social media platform in the known universe. Seriously, have you checked out my profile on Adult Friend Finder? When I was on the Jack Show on ESPN Radio, we developed a show and created a sound and feel that a lot of sports talk shows still mimic today. It's true, we had a lot of moving parts, a lot going on in the form of drops. Or as you might think of them, content manually put into action that helps the bit or the overall feel of a moment be funnier or more awesome. Mm, drop? Well, I knew that while I was developing my show or brand for the streaming world, that I wanted to keep that kinetic pace, or as Jax would say, that Fox Sports feel. Well, now in this medium, we can use audio cues as well as visual cues to make the crowd go wild. Without a doubt, the streaming question that I get asked the most is, Logan, how the hell do I do all of that on my stream? And I tell him, really, it's simple. It only took me like six months and countless hours of yelling at no one. But it is a process. Like everything else in this streaming world, find someone on YouTube who knows what the heck they're talking about. You hope someone that you can understand and follow, then cross your fingers and hope that you can make it work and duplicate it again on your own. And yes, it did take me quite a while to figure out how to do all of this stuff, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna give you a few different ways to get the audio and video drops on your stream so you can make it dope. Starting with the expensive way, loading up your stream deck. The cheaper way, using your phone or iPad as your stream deck, or the free way. And even a way to get your audience involved by using your channel points to fire elements in your stream so they can get in on the action. You can fire the elements manually from your slobs or OBS. Speaking of which, I use both OBS and slobs for different creating situations, but I'm gonna be showing you everything today through slobs. So keep in the back of your mind that as they may look different, both systems are really doing the same thing and getting the same results. First, let's get to the content that we want to add, shall we? If you don't have a clip ready to rock, we can find something on YouTube to use. First, install WinX YouTube Downloader by clicking the link below. Go to the video that you want to use and copy the URL. Then make sure you copy the link in the appropriate box and BAM! A couple of clicks later, you have a video clip that you're ready to use in your stream. Now you have to add it into your scene in slobs or OBS. So let's do that first. Go ahead and open up your live scene and click on the plus sign. It's on the right hand side and you'll find it in sources. Then click media source because we are adding a video or audio source. By the way, these are both interchangeable. Whether you wanna put a video or audio, you're gonna be doing the same steps. Then click add new source instead and name it whatever you like. I think Logan Rocks works. Then browse to where your file is, click on it, and then tick that little loop box so that we can place this file in our scene where we want it, and it won't disappear after it's done playing. Got it where you like it? Good. Then why don't you go ahead and tick that close file when inactive box while you're there. Why? Because I said so, that's why. Yeah. So now that we've made sure that it's exactly where we want it in the scene, you can go back and untick that loop box. And boom, there it is. You've done it. It's in your scene. <laughs> awesome, right? FYI, double check your audio and always err on the side of cautiousness. Remember, we can always turn it up later. And these go to 11. Now you may be asking yourself, Logan, but how do I fire it? And that is a damn fine question. It is, it's a good question. And we have 
a couple different answers. So sit back, relax, strap on your seatbelt. You never been on a ride like this before with a content creator who can rap and control the maestro at the same time kick a dope rhyme. But I digress. First, the really super duper cheap method to get you dropping it in like it's hot. You can just manually fire them from slobs or OBS by just clicking on them. Yeah, super simple, right? Well, for now, think about what it would look like if you had 20 or 30 of those elements. Yeah, it'll get kind of crazy. So yes, it starts out as dope. But as you progress and grow, these things tend to multiply like gremlins and it will get out of hand quick. But the party's still jumping because my mom ain't home. There are two other ways that I've found to fire elements. These both work great and they are from your friends and apples of the creator content world, Elgato. So what does the cat have for us today? I use the Stream Deck XL. Why is it bigger you ask? simply genetics but this is the easiest and most integrated way to fire and use elements and there's so much more that you can do with this handy dandy little device it lights up it flashes it oohs and ahs but that's for a different video they are pricey though they're not cheap so if that's not in the cards for you why don't you go ahead and give the mobile version a try you can use your phone or your ipad and it's three bucks a month or 25 bucks for a year, which will end up saving you about 30%. I did the math. <laughs> so after you give it a try, hunker down for the year. There's so many different lights and functions and things that you can do with it. We'll get to that another time, I promise. So quickly, let me show you how to add your component to the stream deck. Open up the app, then click on the empty box. And now fill that box with the source found under the Streamlabs OBS tab to the right hand side and drag that slick willy over here. Bam! It's done. Seriously, it was that simple. Now give it a title and you can even use a picture or GIF if you like stuff to move and groove while you're dropping hot fire on your audience like bombs in Verdansk. Make sure your collection scene and source all line up to give you the correct element that you want to fire and you're in like Flynn baby but wait there's more did I mention there's another free way to get videos and sounds on your stream how you ask great question <laughs> well we're gonna use one of our old friends from mixer mix it up bot and if you are currently not using this wonderful bot to enable your viewers to use channel points to drop video and audio clips, then you are not fully utilizing your channel points potential. I'm gonna show you how to do this and set up another tool for you to use so that you're gonna have another way to fire video and audio drops during your stream to keep your audience engaged and feeling in fuego. And I'll show you all of this and more in another video. Aww. So please remember to like, follow, and subscribe so you'll know when I'll drop that next video here on YouTube. Go live on Twitch, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 3 p.m. GMT. Go beast mode in a fresh gameplay video on Fruit Lab or give away a double date for you and your friend with the Paul brothers. Which Paul brothers? still remains to be seen <laughs> thank you for watching be sure to check out all the links below for great deals and while you're there drop a like and comment on what you'd like to see coming up be good to yourself and be kind to others pay it forward play it forward rock like a party star party like a rock star smile strong laugh loud and last but not least please like follow and subscribe we'll see you soon thanks for watching take care